when we first in about the future beyond the COVID crisis, and specifically what will business in the Western Cape look like in December 2021, there was a huge amount of uncertainty. Our first conversations were at the beginning of April, and born out of all this uncertainty, we became very curious about how will business be affected. So we decided to engage with the people that we knew best, um, and we decided to use a technique called scenario planning. And as Stuart Brand says, scenarios are not trying to be right about the future, but making sure that we are almost never wrong. Or, as Clem Santa says, scenario is a bit like a radar, a little blip on a radar screen. It gives you options and you can sensitize yourself to what's coming over the horizon. So we set ourselves some objectives. We wanted to learn from each other. We wanted to tell plausible stories about what could happen, which hopefully would reduce anxiety and help us all to plan for the future. So we underpinned everything that we did through seven values. And I'm not going to read them out because they're on the screen. And I'll share these slides with you. But essentially, we wanted to learn. And we wanted to do what Elvin Toffler says, learn, unlearn, and relearn, because these are key skills. And this is really probably one of the best things we can do when facing huge amounts of uncertainty. So we took that question and we engaged with the people we knew, clients, friends, people in our networks. And we said, would you be interested in engaging in this question with us in this scenario learning exercise? And an amazing thing happened. Very quickly, people responded and we filled up a whole WhatsApp group, 255 people. So we said in turn, well, all we really want is one to maximum two hours of your time. And let's start by asking the question, what will business in the Western Cape look like in December 2021? And what are the things that are most likely to influence what it will look like? And we got a tremendous response, almost 2,000 uh, items that got returned from the group, which we then put together on this big uh, mural, which is a piece of software. And each one of these yellow post-its uh, is an item that somebody actually wrote. And we grouped them together under headings, as you can see here, shopping, social media, or business service tools. And this is all what the technology domain, domain looks like. Um, and we then took each of these domains, and each of the green items is a grouping um, of all the points that people made. But we did this for six domains. Um, and each of those six domains, we collected all these data points up together, which gave us some sort of meta domain. And the meta domains are these yellow items that go along the top of the page. And they list what are the major influences that are going to impact us between now and December 2021 from a business environment. So we took those influences and we said, okay, let's give them back to the group again. And we asked the group to rank them. And we asked them to rank them in a very particular way. We said, please rank them as in, what do you think the likelihood of this influence playing a role will be? And then if you do think it's going to play a role, how much of a role do you think it's going to be? And we got, a, again, a tremendous response from that, which we, you see the results of here on the screen. And these results we then took and we said, right, what are the main themes that come out of here? Well, South Africa's political response to the crisis, the economic world, South Africa, Western Cape, changes in how we work, and this idea of focus on me versus focus on us came up. And this allowed us to draw our scenario canvas, which focused on two key areas. So this is almost like the meta-meta level of all those data points that people gave us. And the first is socio-political, and the second is economic. So on the socio-political continuum, the stretch here is between we're okay and I'm okay. So this is about the we're okay. This is the Rugby World Cup moment uh, where everybody pulls together and feels like we're all in this together and works together on many different levels, business, politically, socially, etc. Or the I'm okay. We're all in this for ourselves. You know, stuff the rest. We're going to make sure that we just, I'm okay. Um, and that's the most important thing. So that's the one continuum. On the horizontal, the continuum is about the structural reforms which the government is embarking on. Are they going to be successful or are they going to be ineffective? And this allowed us to come up with four scenarios. And we were very fortunate because a small group of about 15 or 18 people engaged with us on these scenarios. We put a draft together, we shared it with a group, and we got an incredible response of comments, suggestions. And this allowed us to really challenge our thinking. And new ideas were brought in, and the stories were challenged and improved and changed. Um, and we went through a couple of iterations, and it was a huge amount of learning for all of us. And in the end, we've pulled that together um, in, a, in a succinct way into four stories. The four stories are this, Unraveling Fast, Slipknot, Tangled, and Bungie Rope. And I'm going to tell you now, let's give you a little bit more detail on each of those stories. So firstly, Unraveling Fast, which sits here and is really a story about a structural reform that went wrong. There's significant misalignment between national and provincial governments, 
all stakeholders are in it for themselves and they're pulling in different directions. And the only people who really gain are the populist politicians who get to stand on, uh, on platforms and promise unrealistic things to people who are generally unhappy across the board. So their recovery post the crisis is almost non-existent. And this creates a very difficult business environment that unravels fast. The second scenario is a story where things start to go right. The structural reforms are successful and they create hope and there is growth. But much like post-1994, the economy remains steeply divided. Those with resources get ahead and help themselves. And the businesses and people outside the formal economy, unfortunately, remain outside the formal economy. So this creates a tension between rich and poor. And it's tightened, much like a slipknot. The harder you pull it, the harder you try to get it right, the tighter and tighter it goes. So that's our second scenario, which is the slipknot. The third scenario is a story of improvisation in the face of government failure. So the structural reforms of the government, they have huge potential, their promises made, and there's huge hopes, but they just don't deliver. And the NGOs and businesses and civil society and all of us as citizens, we try to fill the gap and we pull together in many different ways. And, and that is quite coherent. But unfortunately, because the economy is just so poorly structured and not serving the people, it just doesn't get ahead. And it results in a complex system that's tangled. And despite the best intentions of all these different stakeholders, the harder they pull, the tighter the knot gets. And it just gets more and more tangled because the underlying economic system just doesn't deliver for South Africa. So that's our third scenario called tangled. And the last scenario is a scenario we've called bungee rope. And the bungee rope is an interesting rope because, as you can see, it's a rope made up of many, many strands. And each of those strands, when pulling together, is very, very strong. And a bungee rope is amazing because it can stretch to seven times its length and hold up to four tons. Um, so it's an incredibly strong, resilient, sort of anti-fragile. And that's really the story. That basically what happens here is the structural reforms, they set a great base for working together. Politicians, business people, society at large all work together. And we move beyond the economic factors that have held back South Africa and the Western Cape. So business confidence starts to grow in the Western Cape economy suddenly starts to become much more inclusive. So people who were traditionally excluded from the economy find ways that they can contribute and they can prosper. And there's lots of reaching across the divide in South Africa of people supporting each other and working together um, in, order to, in order to prosper. And this creates many opportunities for those people lower down in the pyramid. And in turn, because of the opportunities for them, the whole pie grows and everybody does better in the whole country. So this... These are the four scenarios. And what we've done is we've taken those four scenarios and we've highlighted some of the key elements. So for each one, we've got a big tell, which is the yellow highlighted items on the left of each one. Um, there's a view of what happens in the politics, what happens for poor South Africans, what happens for rich South Africans, some of the statistics that we might see um, appearing, and the Gini coefficient. And this, as Clem Santos says, it gives us flags of which scenario is likely to play out. The red is the unraveling fast, the red flag. The orange flags are both tangled and slipknot. They both have things that work well, but they don't get us to really the, the potential of what is, um, it will get us to the point of, of real potential. And the green is the bungee rope, which, which does have um, a much more positive outcome. And this uh, turn allows us to draw up the scenario logic. So if we, if we don't get much right and the, and the coronavirus sets us back um, and we're not able to get ahead beyond that, we're going to end up in unraveling fast scenario. If we get some things right, either the structural reforms and working together, the, the, the we're in this, um, we're okay together, we would end up in the slipknot or the tangled. But if we, if we don't get it all together, we're going to end up in those which are less than optimal, hence they're orange. And the bungee rope scenario is the preferable scenario. But again, remember, scenarios are not about being going for one scenario. The idea is to use the scenarios to prepare yourself. So the question you might ask, okay, we have these scenarios, so what? What should I do with them? Well, the way to think about it is to think about what strategic moves you would make for each scenario. And that means what are the things that you would consolidate? How, what are the growth and the opportunities in that scenario? And what role does your business or do you play in society in that scenario? So each one of those have different variables that play out in different ways. Um, and the thing to think for yourself is if strategy is about getting yourself or your business into a more powerful position, what are the things that I would need to do to get into a powerful position in each one of those scenarios? So there are four different
different possible futures. And we're not aiming to be right about guessing which one it is that we're going to, we're going to emerge in in December 2021. What we're aiming to do is not be wrong. So we want to be prepared for all four scenarios. The question to ask yourself when thinking about these four scenarios, these four possible ways that Western Cape could look in December 2021, is to say, what could I do today that would prepare me for that scenario? And doing that for each of the scenarios will put you in a position where you, as Stuart Brand says, not necessarily are going to be right about what happens, but you are more likely not to be wrong. Um, in closing, let me say thank you. Thank you to the big group who showed up and showed engagement and interest, to the active contributors who gave us really all the raw material for this whole exercise, to the story editors, people who helped us to shape the stories and update them and uh, get them to where they are. And also this video, they, they looked at the first version of the video and gave us fantastic feedback, which helped us to make it better. Uh, Clem Santu, who's been a mentor to me, and coincidentally in his broad scenarios around COVID in the world, came up also with a scenario um, called Tightrope, which is, uh, which is along the same theme of rope. So in closing, what will business in the Western Cape look like in December 2021? Think about the four scenarios. Think about what you could do today to put yourself and your business in a more powerful position in December 2021, should we be living in the world of each of these scenarios.